Hello, and welcome to the Undateable Me podcast. I am your host, the undateable Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sox Knob, and this is another episode of our weekly show that deals with the struggles of relationships and dating. But we don't just talk about the problems, do we? No, no, no. No, we are on a journey to find solutions, and we do so in a very entertaining and vulnerable way. Although I don't know how vulnerable we are with Holly with this Rocky shirt on. Girl, why are you you always grab your tatas? Oh, because because usually you the, say the, it. <laughs> okay, okay. How about this then? Entertaining because Holly's showing her tatas. There we go. I, you know what? We should on the intro just change it to co-hosted by Holly's Tatas. <laughs> right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and get started to, in today's episode. Mm. This is an interesting question. I am interested in knowing if a body count matters. How many people you've smashed? Is it okay to have a lot? Let's go. I see you hanging around. <laughs> the next part says, I bet you thought I was going to be balled up crying, waiting for you, shit. No, not I. My early days. <laughs> <laughs> not no more. <laughs> not no more, okay. All right, so we are talking about body counts, Holly. Who, child? We, we, we're talking about mm. how many you got in the bag. Mm -hmm. So... Does that matter when you're getting into a new relationship? Does your body count matter? Does their body count matter? And then I guess we have to get into, well, I guess in asking if it matters, we have to talk about, well, how many is too, too many? many. <laughs> and then how many, listen, that goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Because some people were like, so you've only been with two people your whole life? What's wrong with you? Yeah. Or whatever, you know. And then, you know, listen, we have some folks who came right out of their mama's house and into his house and <laughs> vice versa, right? Yeah. So you have folks who, you know, fell in love in high school and whatever, right? And then some folks that just ain't into doing it like that. Mm. So... So, Holly, I'm going to start off by asking. 11. Uh, no, that's not what the fuck I was. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> Holly. I'm okay. That's a good number for me. Okay. Okay. I. Okay. Yes, <laughs> it is. I be Y'all, <laughs> listen, I be trying to protect Holly from herself. She won't let me. <laughs> she will not let me. <laughs> Shit, I was about to ask, how many do you think is too many or whatever? Oh. She can't out the gate like, 11! <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Was not the question. Sorry. You know, that's one of those, what's that show, Family Feud? Oh, when yeah. you ring in before they finish asking the question and now you done said some shit that you like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, well, Okay. Let's My back bad. up. We're we going to fix this. <laughs> I, I was not going to ask this, but so Holly, what's your body count? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, from the looks of your face, I need to lie to you. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not the amount. I just wasn't expecting you to say it. I was, I was not 
ever going to ask you that. Oh, that's okay. no fun. Okay, well. Y'all comment child body count underneath in the comments. They not going to do it. Mm. They not going to do it. Y'all scared. They scur very much scared. Mm. I guarantee. Okay, I put it this way. For my YouTube um, viewers, go ahead. Put your body count in the um, comments. Mm -hmm. And then I will make you eligible for our next raffle Ooh. in our live. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm -hmm. But if you don't put it in there, I don't want it. I, mm -mm. You're not in the raffle. Y'all know Jimmy, a researcher. We're going to research how many baby daddies, how many oh. boyfriends. We're going to count on them pictures. <laughs> so no. if y'all lying. No, I'm going to take your word for it. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So, but in either case. So you said 11. Mm -hmm. But my real question was going to be. How many is too many? Okay. Um, for me, for a man, too many is if you got, let's say, over 20 and the sex is still garbage. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So is that a factor then? So yes. that's that's then tied to the result. Okay. Because you you claim to have done all these women. It's like, oh, but it ain't all that. But I think also too many is like, oh, I might be afraid you got STD or something. Not yeah. an STD, but like the kind that you can't get rid of, like a like a Ooh. something bad. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you can get tested to resolve that. Yeah. That how let me to in seven resolve days. that inquiry yeah. as to okay, you said how let me in seven days. If you can't how let me after seven what, days. What did you say mm -hmm. in the polygamy episode? The my charts on this bitch. <laughs> okay, yes. So I'm very safe. <laughs> All right. So um, so you said if it's a man over twenty, what about for a woman? Not that you're interested in dating a woman, but just your opinion on it. Um, for a woman, well, well, let me, let me take the 20 back for a man. Mm -hmm. I think if, anything over, cause, oh, cause people is doing it nowadays. Um, I say to me, too many is over like maybe 60, how, how, like oh. 60 Okay, okay. for a man so, over 60. Yeah. For a woman, maybe for a woman, maybe 30. Does age matter? And I have a follow-up question to both of these. So how is age factoring into that? Because if you mm. have... 30 bitch and you 20 years old that's different from having 30 and you're 40 years old See, that, that's why y'all gotta watch the last episode you're gonna have to double back on one of them X's to keep that body <laughs> count low cause <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way in okay. hell you should be 20 some years old with 30 motherfuckers well body. listen I, I used to work with this lady uh, years ago and she was what was she? She was 19 or 20. She was like 20. I remember she wasn't 21 yet. I know that much. Okay. And she, I remember she has six kids. And I was like, how? Bitch, when did you start? What? I mean, six? and this is not, to, she had six kids. And I, rem, I know she was not 21. I just don't remember if she was 18, 19, 20, whatever. But yeah. And now I don't know. Now here's the other thing. Um, that could have been six kids by the same guy. Could have been six different guys. I don't know that part. I just know she had six kids and she was not 21 yet. Oh, she was popping. I know that because she early. couldn't go to the club with us one time. This was years ago when I was All young. That. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't get in. So, um, so I, I have. Uh, so my follow up question though to you to get back on track and get off this girl whose name I don't even remember for that matter. Um, why is there a different number for women than men for you? Because I just, I, you know what? I just expect men to be exactly who they are when they want to be it. Mm. And, and and it's not all men, certain men. But the ladies have been getting out here nowadays. Yes. And they have been very, um, what do you call it? Like um, openly sexual, you know, what? Mm. I don't give a fuck if you got a honey. You yeah. know, but I, I just... It, lie to me. <laughs> Please lie to I me. Was, I was going to circle. <laughs> We're going to get to that part later, too. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think that just goes, in my opinion, to that double standard that we have one set of rules for men. We have another whole other set of mm -hmm. rules for women. Now, I 
it's one of those things. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. We have that double standard out there. Where, now, again, this is a situation where I don't have a dog in the fight of <laughs> men versus women. I, I ain't got a dog in that race. Okay. Um, so I don't care. Ultimately, right. uh, I don't care probably with men either, but nonetheless, there is this double standard where, you know, we have this idea, oh, we expect him to be a dog. We expect him to be, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Oh, but if she do it, she's a whole a slut or whatever is almost what it gives. You yeah. Know? So um, and the other here's the other thing about sex and partners, even though the number of partners you have obviously is going to increase the potential or mm -hmm. possibility of getting something or whatever. But again, testing and safe practices, you can have unsafe sex with three people Yep, and, be out of and catch that thing. And you can have protected sex with 20 and, and not catch it. You know what I mean? And then the other thing with that is when a body count is just a body count. So with the exception, like I said, you may perhaps increase the possibility of catching something or getting multiple yeah. girls pregnant in that type of scenario. But literally, you could have a body count of 20 and have only had sex 20 times. Yep. You could have a body count of 10 and you busting it open every night. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, right? Yeah. So it's not necessarily... So when you say, you know, if you've been with 20 people, then I expect you to now be a pro. Well, it could have been 20 times. You could have a person whose body count is two, but they put it down mm. because whatever, all the other factors, you yeah. know? Maybe they maybe number two was a good teacher. I don't know. Yeah. So I think that fall back because my granddad used to be like, <clears throat> he used to call them Jezebels. <laughs> Not Jezebel. <laughs> my granddad used to be like, a woman can't do what a man can do. Yes. A man can lay that. down with a woman and give her a child and he can get up and go on about his business. And yeah, there now, and, and I think we know that women have shouldered the responsibility oh, yes. of that for a long time so yeah. um and then in this current climate where from state to state you may not even be able to do anything about it all i have to say is plan on plan b you hear me and c and sh shit for me it starts with z <laughs> shit i start before a um but in either case so um but i i, I want to get back to the numbers and we'll say for a woman so in your case your count was and by the way there's going to be some person who says 11 mm -hmm. oh my god how can you know and i don't think we even factor life into exactly. those body counts right you could have 11 partners over 11 years and that don't make you a whole you could have been with one person that whole year every time you or know whatever. you know what i mean because three of them is a baby daddy one i'm a husband that take up half a hand okay, right there right. Shit. <laughs> so was i really out here though but, but, but was i <laughs> you know but was i though right <laughs> so um and then like i said you could have the same situation in the opposite you know the mm -hmm. number could be lower but they were sluttier mm -hmm. okay so, um, I, but, but again, I, I'm always curious about, you know, sort of what's perceived, you know, yeah. cause like I said, a man can have a body count up in the whatever's, you know, who, which, who, who was the basketball player that had, was it Dominique? No. Okay. I don't know, but you know what? I know someone who may know, I want to get a male's perspective on mm. this question. I want to get a male's perspective. So I have already taken the liberty to call my boy. Derek, are you there? Yes, 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 yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Derek, let me introduce you to Holly, first of all. Say, Holly, say hi to my guy, Derek. What up, OG, triple OG? <laughs> what up, Holly? What up, Holly? Hey, baby. <laughs> so... 
So let me let me first uh, introduce Derek at, by saying that he is a heterosexual male. So he's over there on the other side with y'all. I told y'all most of my friends are straight. I'm I, I'm the worst gay person on the planet. I ain't got no damn. I don't have enough gay friends anyway. So, but I, Derek, I want to get you've been listening right to what we've been saying. Yep. 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 And so I first ask you for a body count. For a one, don't do what Holly just did and just start spitting out numbers. <laughs> Shit. Unless you want to, Derek. <laughs> Derek, don't let Jenny bully you. You your own man. Because Holly, I was trying to ask how many is too many. She just came out with how many she had, you know. So um, for you, what would you consider too many for a female as a heterosexual male? Uh, as a heterosexual male? Mm-hmm. I really don't have a number for myself. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> what? No, no. What would be too many not- for her for you to fool with? For a woman, it ain't. Not- it really ain't none of my business because it's my turn. I love I'm just being real. Long as it's yeah. right and it's tight. Just- Derek, I hey. love that answer. Yes. Hey. It just, it's my turn. I can't expect if I think she fine for somebody else not to think she fine. So. Yeah. Right. Somebody want it just like I want her. So I, I can expect somebody trying to done it or trying to do it just like me. So I can't even be worried about a number. Gotcha. I just got to worry about my slot. Very good. I I can appreciate that answer. Derek said so. he finna show all them other numbers up <laughs> when it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, a lot of guys will be like, you know, a lot of people, period, not just guys, I'm sorry, but a lot of people, period, will judge you by that number right you know what i mean so um y'all pillow talk is a motherfucker so you know y'all are laid up in the bed one night and you just say something like baby what what, what's your body count i don't know why bitches do that (laughs) right (laughs) hey jimmy Uh uh-huh hey jimmy a holly you can't be taking what these people say out their mouth. Right. These are the same people that bear ass public toilet seats. You can't be listening <laughs> to these damn people. Damn. <laughs> I hover. He ain't talking about me. Yes. I be hovering. Uh, okay. But 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 that is that conversation. That's, true. That's how it starts, yep. right? And then you say a number, whatever your true number is, mm-hmm. and now he looking at you sideways. Yeah. And, and Derek, I have a question. Is there a number that would make you look at her and go, damn. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to measure up. <laughs> is, Not, uh-huh. Honestly, honestly, I wouldn't say it out loud, but in my head, I might be like, Damn. <laughs> okay, okay. What number would make you say that? I don't know. I like to start my average at at least seven. So I'm okay. thinking the bad. Oh, I... <laughs> so <laughs> basically... <laughs> so let me say this. <laughs> God damn, so you, basically, you can't go higher. <laughs> so basically, in, in a hypothetical situation... Holly is a married woman living the suburban life right now, okay? But, Uh so if you and Holly in some imaginary world were in the bed together and she told you that her head, I mean, her, my Lord, I said head count, her body count, (laughs) head count is a whole other thing. Because it's lower than that. (laughs) (laughs) Best believe that. (laughs) I'm going to leave my head count out. Anyway, um, so... And she said her actual number, which remind us, Holly, was... 11. 11. <laughs> Basically, now you have, you've already said you would not say anything in that moment. <laughs> but in your head, you're thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> you, nigga, you gonna start off at 7? <laughs> no. No, not at 11. Not at 11. I'll be like, okay, that's about average. Touche, baby. Touche. Okay. Touche, baby. <laughs> well, recently... <laughs> Uh, I I don't know. Um, the girl that's on the TV show Zeus Baddies and now that's Shit. TV Diamond the Body. She says she's had sex with over two thousand men. Oh my god! 
Now, see, that's too damn much now. Oh, we're we doing didn't. too much right there now. <laughs> we didn't got Derek. We didn't got him for now, number, huh? Listen, I... yeah, she need a damn exorcism. She I... need prayer. Okay. <laughs> No, and you I, tell her to put that. And you tell her to put that on the shelf. We don't want no more refurbished cootie out here now. Will it stay on the shelf? Listen, somebody because that shit beat off the bone. Uh, we listen. good at two thousand. You off the bone? I, oh, you can't I, cook it no more. I've been. I will say I have been removed from vaginas for a long time. <laughs> but if memory serves, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I want it. After two thousand, then went through it. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's about it. Hey, in two thousand, it's about as useful as that vagina picture in science class in high school. Okay. It's just a picture. That's right. all it is. It's just there for picture. Okay, that's it. It ain't got no use or nothing. Ain't nothing left but the outside of what it. Drea, um, the girl from Basketball Wives. I forgot who she. She's married. To, well, she's with that famous basketball player, some young boy who making all those millions. Deck. I don't know if you watch. I've uh, never watched basketball. any of those shows. Yeah, but she was on um, Basketball Wives, and what she say? Can't your wholeness? She got on that podcast and was like, "Can't your wholeness be erased?" Ooh, Derek, well, can your wholeness be erased? Listen, I I can answer I that for know. you. <laughs> I can answer that for you. I say, I knew. after seven years, mm-hmm. that sh- slate can get wiped clean. <laughs> you know, just like that. That, that sounds like your credit. Shit fall off after okay. seven years, it's right? So. Now, speaking, of, speaking of that credit thing, I made I made a video. People was laughing at me about New Year's that you need to make people sign a bone contract for New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, De- Derek, give us the name. Of, is it Dear Dear Damn Fool? What is the name of your What is your YouTube channel so people can check you out? Dear Damn Fool for real. Yes, Dear Damn Fool for real with the number four. Real okay, yes, very good. You gotta make them. You gotta start making these dudes that want to try out for the team. Mm-hmm. Thirty day lease period, a good boning and everything else. After thirty days, you can renew. You can renew your lease, or you can just go on and do whatever you need to do. Move on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, for you can women, take them to court too. It's, oh, go both ways now. Go both yeah. ways now. So you can. Now, does uh, a high body count necessarily? You know, we like we mentioned before, don't necessarily make you a pro at it. That's true. You could Hell be no, no. A, a lazy lay and just did it many times. Yeah, uh, about two thousand. I'm pretty sure you tagged. <laughs> you seen every move in the book after two thousand. She, hey, she ain't got no tricks left. You know what? What new hey, can, can I, she do? Can we do two moves? Story? We family. We no. family, right? Oh, we I'm family. scared now. We, yeah, we family. I am kind of scared of this story, Derek. But go ahead, tell the story. <laughs> It's that 2000 number that just keep popping into my head. I got a story that I don't know if it was 2000, but it show had to be at least 750. Oh, okay. You know how you do the back eagle technique with the legs, with the spread? When I say it was like a round 44 cup, I think she was at at least 1200, 750. That just destroyed. It brought that back into my head right there in the nail when I kept thinking about that damn number. Mm. That woman was woe down like. <laughs> so it was loose. <laughs> loose ain't even the word. Oh, you know oh. when you do the stretch back to the ears. You know when you're looking at your pedicure and your manicure and the silly fan at the same time. I ain't trying to be explicit. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's why I be telling niggas, hey, I tell my husband, hey, put my leg down because this. What I say earlier, this shit got the last. Don't be right, uh uh-uh. right. No, <laughs> Bro, I'm talking. I only I'm talking got one of these. Is. Right. This Will you say the, the all seeing eye? Yeah. It was 44 size eye. Mm-mm. But it women. Was stinking, for real. Women close back up after, you know, like a couple of days, you know, because if we ain't did it in like, if me and him ain't did it in like a week. Yeah, but after you 2, go thousand. Back, that's true. Oh, it, it it ain't was, Look, you know, you know, the old women used to tell y'all to do that vinegar, vinegar. snap back. <laughs> But uh, yeah. it ain't enough damn vinegar in the, in the world. You better use no, this muriatic one, this acid. One was <laughs> <laughs> this one was red. Under construction sign. He tore. Yeah. Oh my God, this should not be this funny. <laughs> right. So, oh, somebody is stop, offended. It didn't stop me from fun. the mission, though. You said what? stop me from the mission. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, I well, guess what? The nigga after you ain't gonna stop him either. Right. That, that <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I was like, damn, this yeah. is a bad party. 
This is the bad part. All right. So you want to double back on that? Hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Derek, then, what do you think? And again, we know that there's a lot of different uh, factors here, you know, different lifestyles or different uh, uh, way, you, you know, you've come up and different folks you deal with. You may have been in a fraternity. You may not have. You may have been a club person. Maybe you were not. For a dude, just in your opinion, not that you're interested in dudes, but for a dude, what do you think? Say it, we got a guy that's 35 years old. What do you think a good body count should be for him to still be a respectable man? About 30. About 30. Okay. So he fuck, he knocking that bitch down every year since he was five, huh? Well, I'm, I'm sure oh, it started oh. after that. But even that number, you really ain't looking at more than two or three a year. So that's not bad. No, that's, that, no, that's not Holly. bad. I'm just saying. Mm. Holly, you really think it go like that? You I'm had just... your bad month and your good. That shit like football season. You had time <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, they like you hitting and stroking and gunning down the grass and all every damn weekend. That shit got some off time. Yeah. We were being for real. And honestly speaking, and this is where kind of that double standard comes in, mm -hmm. because that's not a bad number that's for not. a woman if you really think about it. If you're looking at once you turn 18, yeah. And then by the time you're about 35 and that's just two or three people per year that you fooled around with, I almost said fucked around with because yeah. my language is horrible, but um, two to three people that you fooled around with and all, that's not terrible, but we will write them off as hoes. It's not. And there's people having me, threesomes but... now and foursomes and all type of things. So. <laughs> yeah. You have already killed two in the bedroom on that one <laughs> night, so. <laughs> well, then there's that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but again, I think there is that double standard out there. And, and that was the reason why I just, I wanted to make sure I asked the question separately about women versus men, because we have different answers for those two. And not only that, I think that women, I, I think the reason why the number is like that, I think sometimes women will... Um, cause niggas, guys will fuck anything they see. See, and, and I see, think listen, I think they will. That nah, is nah, another one of those that exactly. You know, I think women are a little more. I think, no, now what I will say this: I think that a lot of women think that. Oh really? But that is you listen, sure do. Are y'all false? Right. So I have remember I've had straight male friends my whole life, and yeah, it ain't that. What what if they, I'm not saying that they intentionally go out to want to do that with it, but if a girl just there and she like, oh, I'll give you some, nope. he might be like, nope. mm, I, let me I'll tell take you, it. listen, I've I've seen so many of my friends turn down females like, uh, no, what you know, be, but a lot of women I think have that idea that yes. men will just screw anything with a hole, right, or any woman with a hole, right? Yeah, it, it, it's no different in this. I'm gonna take us left a little bit it is no different from this idea that um uh, so uh i'm gay and i'll have like rand over the years i'll have like some random straight dude go was you looking at my ass uh why <laughs> it don't look worse shit to me you know whatever right. but it's like do you think that every time i see a man walk by i want to have sex with him no Right. You Same thing, just like with women. There are men who walk past you. You don't just start salivating and your panties got to get changed. Mm -mm. So why do you think it doesn't go the other way? You know, I think we believe that the hormones and, you know, testosterone is just so strong that it drags us down the street sniffing. Maybe it got to do with the age then. Because I didn't saw some niggas no. fuck something that they had no business And there doing. are some women who have done the same they, they thing. They had no so, business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think the number is no different th from men than women. I think they are, there's just as much discretion. Yeah. Be, as long as you're being safe, guys. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Let me be very clear when I say this. I don't care how many folks you fooled around with. It don't, it don't make my mortgage go up or down. Mm. 
You know, it don't change um, how much is in my wallet. It ain't my business. What you eat don't make me shit. Yeah, so uh, I think we we have this Karen type um, uh, approach to too much stuff. Uh, and, and and as far as I'm concerned, a Karen is just somebody that is in that just cannot get out of other folks' business. Right. And what you do in the bedroom has nothing to do with me. So. You know, now, again, now, if for you, that's an important factor in a relationship and you are asking that question to somebody, then that's a whole other thing. Right. Now, my suggestion to you. Now, this is just me. Now, I do believe that all relationships should be built on honesty. Mm-hmm. I do. Yes, yes. But if you are the person Derek was just talking about with the 2000 body count. <laughs> Bitch lie. <laughs> when they Real, ask lie you, to me. when they ask you, bitch, you say so like six. <laughs> yeah, something safe, something safe, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, uh, but that's just me. Uh, or. Go the honest route. They say honesty is the best policy, but I have a feeling you're going to see him starting to back away a little bit. I'm cool. I think I'm okay on this. He ain't going to ever lick that peach again. Mm -mm. (laughs) Mm -mm. That is a no-go. You don't think some men see it as like a challenge and be like, "Mm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. That's a marathon race. That's the New York marathon. <laughs> y'all, y- y'all don't y'all can look this girl up. People is doing her it. though. People is still mm-hmm. doing her after she's admitted to this two thousand. You know, that's because she's a, that's because she's a freak. What was men the, like freaks? What was the girl superhead? Corinne. Yes. Something? And like, they knew she, she was wrote that well whole known. book. Even be, but even before that, she was known. Well, she was called Superhead. Mm-hmm. Hell. So, but people you was know like, why? I want to see what that do. Th- that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I want to see now. <laughs> <Not now. laughs> Have you heard the stories? Have you read the book? Yeah, I yeah, read the book. Yeah. Man, look. <laughs> Never mind. I ain't even gonna talk about that right now. That mm-hmm. right. But you know what? People say oh, she had a lot I, of charm. Now I can't write one of those books as far as the no, number. Of people. I can't do that. You're a snake charmer. Uh, but I could teach classes on uh, <laughs> how to. But no, my 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 body count by the low is lo- by the way is low. So remember, I told you in one of these episodes, I skipped my whole phase. Right, I was busy raising a child, building a career, doing this, whatever, being Mr. Goody Two Shoe. So you now tell us your body count. Now my dumb ass is sitting here saying, you know, I should have had that whole face. Should have, would have, could have. Yeah, you should have got some good hoe in in between there now. Yeah. <laughs> but Holly, Holly keeps trying to convince me that it's not too late. For it's me. not. It's she not too late. She keeps saying that it's. They're not telling it's not too late. Late. You better get out there and sell some of that wing on the weekend. We got mortgage payments and shit. Dude, we we in our mid forties and fifties right. and shit. And I and we listen, I re, I retired early. I could use that extra money. So mm-hmm. you know. But anyway. Oh. So yes. Oh wow, y'all are cracking me up. Uh, anything else for any questions for Derek Holly? Have you ever asked? I know you got one. Come on, yeah, give me one. Yeah, have you have you ever asked? Are you married, Derek, or are you just you you out here right now? No, I'm married. You married? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever asked your wife or wondered um, what your wife the body count what the body count would be? Or you nope. just like I ain't gonna set myself up for that? No, I just don't. I just don't care. Like I really just I ain't never been that type of guy. Good. I, yeah. I we need like more that. than that. We need more than that. I like that. What else? Oh, you got? I'm just saying it just ain't never been my that's just weird. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people would look at it like that, but there's some people who are curious. And then unfortunately, sometimes that'll be followed up with, well, but I'm the best though, right? First of all, nah, I got women, to lie. women, let me give you this advice from a homosexual. <laughs> 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 you always Answer yeah in the affirmative to that question. Make that man think he got the best wang dang doodle on the planet. You can you can in your head laugh. You can get on the phone with your girls next week and laugh. 
or whatever. But make that man feel good about it. So don't hurt that man feelings if that's the one you're going to be with for the rest of your life. If I'm going to be with him for the rest of my uh, life, yeah. But if he one of my hoes, I'm lying. I can't wait to leave this shit. This shit was garbage. I ain't never calling you again. Delete my number. <laughs> right. That's different. That's yeah. different. You know. Fellas out there in TV land, do not believe that shit. Okay? I swear to God, you I got people that are about me. You are not the man. You are not the man. Especially if she had a baby. If, you know, if it ain't the size of a ba- newborn baby head, boy, you ain't doing number two. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, then there's that. <laughs> Damn. You mean to tell me uh, I didn't watch you push babies out of this and I'm doing something? I might be okay, but ain't that damn but, okay. But but Derek, but Derek, but Derek, but that Derek, don't happen all the time. The, the baby situation is a little different. I'm talking about your pelvis gets yes. displaced and shit opens up, but right. it closes back up. It ain't got to be the size uh, of a baby. Oh, I see what it can do. <laughs> It's magical. You've seen its so, potential. No, you, no, you pop my head up some other way. Okay. I don't need that. You don't okay. need that. Very good. <laughs> yeah, that's I, what, uh, if I need that, that's what my head was up. But listen, but no, the reason why I say it, not for that, but the reason why I say lie, <laughs> men will be in their head about that shit for the rest of their life behind that, so... I say, listen, Look, don't put that man through that. A man know, I mean, he, he know if he doing a good job right, or not. Right. Like, we're going to let you Look, know. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. That man been walking around with that little ass Johnson his whole life. Let's stop lying to that man. Yep. He been peeing on his balls for 30 years. Right. He know he little. And yeah, that's why he going to make up man. for it with some good time. And, by the way, there are some women who don't care about the size. And, and I, yeah. my thing is this. Me either. You only got the one you got. Yes. You ain't getting okay. another one. You can't go and, you know, get a coupon every 10 years to upgrade. Well, women that, can. Well, no. Right. No, we I'm can get our coochies tighter. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about men. That thing you got is the thing you yep. going to have. So, you know, hey, use it. And, and like, if, like not, you say, if not, you better speak up to the mic and start freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Right. So that get that get the reaction every time. Oh time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very good. Very good. Well, yes. I appreciate you coming on, Derek, and giving us a ma- a straight male's perspective. My perspective yes. ain't worth a shit in this conversation. Oh, yes, it is. So, yes, it is. Your uh, yes. perspective count, too. Your perspective count, too. <laughs> we leaving your ass out. When they say me and ain't shit, we count, I'm counting your ass. That's true. <laughs> I, now, listen, I'm, the, I'm here with you. I believe it. Yes, I am. That's why, that's why we got this podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because it applies to both. So, yeah. Now, before I go, I will say this too about Derek. Um, I, I say this about, um, a, there are a few people I can say this about. Um, as a gay dude coming up in the ranks or whatever, you know, even, be, you know, before I came out and then after I came out, uh, I oh I I never I'm I'm one of those people I watch and observe everything and of course I watch how people treat me and whatever mm-hmm. and Derek has always been one of those people who Aww. has been kind to me when he did not have to be um, you know because there have been people who have not been kind to me or whatever so fuck y'all. Derek's <laughs> you said fuck y'all <laughs> actually one person that went to high school with us Derek that oh the worst things that have ever been said to me in my life was said to me by somebody in high school. But anyway, so uh, call me the F word and everything. But anyway. Look at the camera and be like, look at me now. Right. And every time oh, somebody... Oh, I, I, oh, I, oh, I, I don't even say Derek ready to slap for you. every time they bring up his name, I, in the back of my head, I'd be like, fuck that bastard. I <laughs> hope we don't ever see his ass again. I hope his career sank. I hope his wife left him. I hope... No, let me stop. I'm bodies. joking, I'm joking. <laughs> You know me. You know me. I love being in the shit. I thought some shit. I, right. That's one reason why I ain't telling you. But no, but Derek has always been supportive. I remember when I finally came out or whatever, and I had did some post or whatever. Derek was one of the first people and he was like, fuck them if they don't <laughs> if they don't like it or whatever. So so I do appreciate that, Derek. So um Man, you know much. I always got your back, bro. I, I appreciate it Aww. and love you for it. 
right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So again, we were talking about body counts. How many mm -hmm. is too many? How many is not enough? I, I think obviously it varies for different folks. I think that some people care, some people don't, and really nobody should. What mm -hmm. some what happened before you? You can't hold that. Um, oh, let me tell this real fast. Now this is real. <laughs> this is what I'm telling a story about one of my best friends. Somebody you know, Holly. Mm. Um, people will hold you accountable for shit that happened before you ever even met them. Which is crazy. Which is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And the same thing with a body count, obviously, right? Yeah. You know, you are holding something against them that didn't have... We were on... <laughs> we were on a cruise. And some somehow we brought up my friend's girlfriend from, like, when he was a teenager. Mind you, at this point, we in our late 30s or early 40s or something right. like this. His girlfriend got so mad about some shit when he was 17, 18 years old. And we were like, what the fuck? Like, some people... Are have, you okay? Right. And she, when I tell you she was heated, <laughs> we were like, bitch, why do you care? He didn't know you. Right. You she know, was young. So, yeah, she That's was, what it was young. So, but, so my, my point is, you know... Why do we care about what happened mm -hmm. before we met? Like Derek said, I'm in the spot now. Yeah. So that's all that matters. So if I'm rocking your world right now. <laughs> just be glad it's getting rocked. Indeed. All right. That's it. All right. So I just want to remind everybody to subscribe to our channel, especially if you're watching on YouTube. Please comment. Remember that. Uh, listen. Comment your body count if you want to be included in the next raffle on the live, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, remember that our membership is now open. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We want to um, go ahead and let you go now. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. All right. Have a good one.